Hello, and welcome back. And thank God for Rand, uh, for, uh, my obsessive compulsive of saving after every episode. Because I have to re-record this episode because apparently... How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Thane would like to see you down in life support on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. I mean, all I did was record a BS, um, um, whatchamacallit, mission. But... That, um, the stuff with Jacob's dad, it's bullshit, right? Because it looked like bullshit to me. That's it for now. See you, Commander. I, I mean... Uh... I mean, granted, alright, I only recorded for about half an hour, but still, it's... Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. And don't worry, it will not affect how I do my job. It's over. We'll talk later. Commander. Because he won't actually talk. Us at this point, and Thane wants to talk to us. I would like to speak with you, Commander. Thank you. So I've made sure that I'm recording. I am hoping that my voice is actually recording. Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. Are you feeling sick? I could get the doctor. No, no. Though I suppose that is a part of it. My mortality has me dwelling on things. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. No, not all at once. Nothing dramatic, no sneaking out in the middle of the night, no final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. I was always away on business. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyak jumps into the room. Hi, father. Runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, pleads. He tugs my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. I don't look at him. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. If we're talking about this, he must have contacted you. No, he didn't. But my condition... I've been judging my life. Measuring what I've added and what I've taken away. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self. The soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened, <coughs> fear or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected. No longer whole. What's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is. This is not a path he should walk. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. 
I don't know why he would accept the task. To be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. Thane, I don't have your contacts and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help, I want it. The last time I saw my son, they wrapped her body in sea vines. Weighted it with stones. He tries to pull from me. Calls for her. The Hanar lift her off the platform. They sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled anew. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water pours down his face. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus bankers store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until you need me. That's a lie. We're not going straight to the Citadel. And I'm not scanning all the planets that I did. You might think, oh, but Leviathan, you only said you'd only spent half an hour. Yeah, but it's still half an hour. I could easily fall asleep, so... Bastard ducked. Not difficult. Okay, so this is the board that I played last last time, but it just, whatever reason, wasn't recording. Okay, so. Really? <clears throat> Let's try putting you guys over there, where... We have cover and <clears throat> one down. Uh, 
killed that one. Figures that this is like extremely accurate when it comes to the crosshairs. Finally. Stole one more guy. That's annoying. Okay, I'm going to leave these things up for you guys. I guess those lockers are random. Okay, next room. Of course, the uh, not having the uh, rapid fire option on the uh, um, no, no one. Uh, okay. I don't like when I do that. I don't like it when you actually, like, uh, <clears throat> glitch to somewhere you're not supposed to be. And I think there's a PDA over here. Uh, once the artifact is confirmed, orders are to take Carmen rendezvous with Captain Voorhees. Okay. And I don't think there's anything other than this relic here, so.
Okay, and with that, I will bid you guys adieu. See you guys next time.